doesn't matter where you come from, from, you've got the quality. Oh, you've come back twice, the woman. Health, I mean. Thought you looked a wee bit peaky before you went away. Yes, well, the menus are fine, thank you, Mrs. Well, thanks. <coughs> no doubt you'll be inspecting the kitchen later, Mrs. Richardson, boosting our morale. Does it need boosting? Oh, there's no limit. Excelsior, excelsior, is what I always say. <laughs> patience, Miss Lawton, patience. You can't expect the gods to smile on our little venture straight away. Well, if you ask me, I don't think the gods know we exist. I think Lady Luke's gone into retirement. <laughs> what I want to know is, when do we get our mink coats and our villas in the south of France? And our villas in the south of France. Fantastic. 150 seconds of high-octane UHF. Personal favourite? When Amy panics and repeats the line that's just been said. When do we get our mink coats and our villas in the south of France? And our villas in the south of France. And is this a record? We're halfway through this salute and the motel hasn't caught fire yet. Oh, they were very big on fires. Well, let's face it, with the fumes from the script and the flimsy wooden acting, something had to give. On top of this, you just got the eerie feeling that some people were up to no good. I want to speak to Mrs. Thomas. Have you had an appointment to see her? Appointment? You just tell her George is here. She'll see me, all right. It's like Christmas shopping gets here every year. Uh, no. No, the official bonfire is in the village tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, what? Oh. Sorry, what? Oh, yes, yes. Goodbye. You see, it seems she slipped in some grease, and we think the grease was put there deliberately. Oh, surely not. Mrs. Mortimer, in the last week, I've made a number of complaints about certain behaviours of pattern. What? About certain behaviours of pattern. Shoey, did you just say behaviours of pattern? Behaviours of pattern. Wow. <coughs> what on earth's that? Something awful's happened. Well, come on, girl. The what lady on table seven, she's screaming her head off. But why? This. Oh, no. Who's with her? My mum is. I'd better go through. Oh, oh, Mrs. Mortimer, before you go, I'd just like to say something. These are dead spiders. They didn't get there of their own accord. They've been placed there. Placed there deliberately. Uh, Shuey, could you angle the spider more towards camera, love? We're not picking it up. Thanks. Uh, okay, loves, uh, everybody outside for the fire scene. Oh, my God. The motel! It's on fire! Mum! Mum! Hang for Jill, 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 come on. Sam, where are you going? I'm not afraid of fire anymore, Betty. Meg was meant to die in that one, but popped up unsinged on the QE2, like Miss Whiplash. Stoic just about covers it. Poison, prison, bombs, fires, kidnaps, hauntings, rehearsal. Meg saw them all off with a wry, world-weary smile. That's what people liked about Crossroads. It was Meg. Crossroads became so mad that eventually they really did write Meg off. I've turned my back on the motel. My life there's finished. Which is about as sane a decision as reworking one foot in the grave without that silly Meldrew character. It's a high rating programme. You're the linchpin of it. Why was it you that had to go? I don't know. I haven't been able to find out. I mean, I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm sober and clean and... Uh, <laughs> Quiet living, and I learn my lines, uh, you know, and they just suddenly... They... Luckily, Noel Gordon's behaviours of pattern were very different to her screen characters, and she took the axing without a trace of fuss or sentiment.
Bye bye, Nolly. There'll never be another you. Good night. <laughs> Who stole my heart away? Who makes me dream all day? Dreams I know can never be true. Seems as though I'll always be blue. Who means my happiness? Who would I? Well, you ought to guess. Who? Who? No, no one, one but you. you. If leaving.